everyone. My name is Professor Perkle and today I'm going to be sharing a lot of experiments that have to do with weather. For the first experiment, I will be showing you how to make a cloud in a bottle. What you'll need is a 2 liter empty pop bottle, a balloon inflator, and some isopropyl or rubbing alcohol. To start, I will be pouring a little bit of isopropyl alcohol into my empty bottle. And if you can see how much I put in there, it wasn't a lot at all. And I'm going to coat the inside of the bottle by turning it like this. Then I'm going to take my balloon inflator and stick it into the bottle and it makes a really tight seal, just like this and start pumping it up with some air. When it's full of air, you can release the balloon pump. And it forms a cloud in the bottle. If I pump it up again, cloud disappears. And you can keep doing it over and over again until you need to add more rubbing alcohol. So what's happening is I'm putting a lot of pressure inside the bottle and when there's a lot of pressure inside and not a lot of pressure outside when I release the pump there is a big difference and it condenses the rubbing alcohol inside to form a cloud. For the next experiment, I will be showing you how to make a tornado in a jar. First, I have just filled up an empty jar with some water and I have some dish soap that I'm going to put a few drops in my jar. And then, I'm going to pick a color of food coloring. I'm going to do blue and I will put a drop of food coloring in my jar as well. So the food coloring is going to mix up with the water and soap. I'm going to screw the lid on. Give it a little swirl. So to make the tornado you need a, a really fast swirling motion like this to make the tornado so that the water can spin in a circle. So there is a tornado. So the soap is adding bubbles and when we spin the water it swirls it around. We'll do it again. We have made a tornado in a jar. You could also put glitter in here or a little sequins. That would be kind of cool too to mix up with the tornado. The next experiment I will be doing is milk rainbow. So first I have a plate and I'm going to put some 2% milk on the plate. And then I have a lot of food coloring and I'm going to put some drops of food coloring into the milk. And the secret ingredient I have is some dish soap which will go right in the middle so the fat in the milk is being broken up by the dish soap which then disperses the colors all around in the milk so this is why we use dish soap to wash dishes because it gets rid of the dirt and the grease off of your dishes
For the last experiment, we'll be making a hurricane in a bowl. So I just have some water in this bowl and a spoon. And I'm going to be mixing it really fast and then putting a drop of food coloring right in the middle. And we're going to watch a little hurricane. So here we have made our hurricane, and the water continues to spin when you add in the food coloring, so it'll mix up like a hurricane. I added another color that is also mixing. I hope you enjoyed the experiments I shared today about weather and hopefully you can try some at home too. Thanks for watching!